The United States came up short in the World Cup, losing to the Netherlands in the round of 16. I've played soccer since I was a little child, and my family, is uh, they're all soccer fans. We've, it's, we always watch the World Cup. It's just, we, we have to, it's a thing for us. <laughs> Win or lose, excited fans showed up at local bars bright and early this morning in a sea of red, white, and blue. Crowding up the seats at O'Brien's Pub on Convoy Street and Time Out Sports Tavern downtown. No, I've been up to the board. Why? <laughs> because I was too excited. So much so that this father and his son Ronaldo had to find a creative way to watch the game. Because it's a better seat than standing behind everyone. Shot, 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 shot. The U.S. had a devastating 3-1 to -one loss, a gut punch to many fans hoping they'd go all the way. Disappointing, but it's still exciting because it's a young team, so we'll see them again in four years. We have got to find a striker. We got four years to do it till the next World Cup. Yet fans say they now have something else to look forward to. Probably college football this afternoon and a cigar and a beer. But in four years, uh, more U.S. games and see this team grow. Either way, I'm just proud that we made it this far. After missing the last World Cup, come on, it's a huge step. We got a long way to go, a bunch of young, talented players. I mean, I can't wait for the next World Cup, honestly. Despite the loss, Roberto and his son are just happy to be by each other's side. The World Cup is real special because it's every four years. It's kind of an event. He's really getting into it, and it's something we can do together. So not all kids want to do stuff with their parents. He wants to spend time with me. Teenagers want to spend time with their dads. That's a great thing. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8.